Jibs is the performance mama. Her name's Dynasty for a reason. She is definitely performance royalty in Los Angeles. Jibs has such a rabid, like, devoted following. She really cares about community, performance, laughing. And we all love laughing. <laughs> The Dynasty handbag, um, I guess I would call it like a vessel in some way. It's not exactly a persona, it sort of is, but it's this, it's like a, it's very malleable and I can kind of do whatever I want through it as a filter. It, it's not like stuck in any, what's it called? Medium. Here's the drawing I made. This is a good one. The, the limousine of death. I have, I'm gonna have a drawing show soon, I think. Oh, here's a timeline of, here's, here's my made up timeline of, tro of tropical uh, fashion. I don't know where I got the idea that I could make music, but I just started doing it. I don't know how to, I don't really know how. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want for breakfast? What do you want? When I moved here, I was performing a little bit, but um, I never really had the right exact spot. There were lots of art spaces that were um, not quite right for performance. I had a friend who was coming into town and was like, where do I perform here? And I was like, I don't know, girl. Like. Where I perform here, and I was like, I'll set, I'll set us up a show, and just cold emailed this club, um, El Cid, and she said, sure, and then it kind of grew. Each month, every scamp, scallywag, and lesbian east of the 405 gathers together at the casually jazzy and sexually charged hipster watering hole Zebulon Cafe Concert to enjoy Weirdo Night, a veritable cornucopia of revolting self-indulgent performance art. Something happened when it turned to Zebulon, where the crowd was just like all different kinds of people, and there's a line every time, and it's always sold out. And, you know, I think that, that moving to that space just broadened her in such a way that she's become this sort of LA institution through that. Let's see. Weirdest things. Uh, there was two guys in leotards with bug masks. There was um, a sad clown doing a performance dance to Duhast one night. Um, it takes all these different artists coming from all these different communities and together makes it this one thing. I want the show to be inclusive, and I do curate with that in mind. I want to do everything in a queer spirit, but um, I definitely don't want to be exclusionary, even to heterosexuals. But, but I don't say that it's a, it's a queer, sh it's a gay show. I don't know. I don't know. It's just a show for losers and, <laughs> and their friends to come see. What you gonna do without any power? Cause somebody took your power away. How you gonna get through without any power? How you gonna make it in the world today? When people see Jibs Cameron's Dynasty handbag persona, it can come across as chaotic or entirely improvised or, you know, just something that, like, the spirit is moving her to do. But actually, it's a really kind of thoughtful uh, encounter with a lot of different ranges of emotion. One of the 
of the things that Jibs does that so many other great uh, queer performance artists do is to really bring out how much of gender is a performance. It's a set of exaggerations. It's the way you put your makeup on. It's funny, for sure, but some of it's also very tragic comic. And I think that that level of skill and art brings some of the pathos. It's maybe a place to come and laugh and forget the troubles of the day or whatever, but it's more like a catharsis to be um, with other people. And I don't like to go anywhere. I'd rather just stay in my house and stuff and hide, but, um, but I need to like support others and like look people in the eye and be like, maybe I can do something to just like make you feel a little more supported. Thank you for joining us this evening on Masturbate Weirder. Till next time, keep touching yourself and stay on your meds. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want?